Welcome back to another episode, and uh, today we're going to be doing some striper fishing off the coast of that's Chappie right there on the island off Martha's Vineyard. And this is sort of the midpoint between the Chappie Lighthouse right down there, Way Sweet Rip. And this is the Green Can right there. And uh, we're going to be dropping some wire lines with these things called hoagies with a little trailer on it. And we're going to be dropping 100 feet deep and then we're gonna be going to hunt. We're gonna look on that right here, this compass, and we're gonna go 155 whenever we hit that green can. And we're gonna drop these lines to 100 feet deep, and we're just gonna hold on. We got our lines out, 100 feet out, and right now, whenever it hits 25 feet deep, we should be right in the striper zone. So right now it's 24.5 feet deep. We're basically right in the striper zone right now. It's just seconds before they nail it. Just put it that way. that lower and he nailed it. Good size there. What is that? Good sizer. That thing's big. That's a big one. Good sizer. I was just reeling it in and a freaking thing nailed it. Probably the one I hit in this. Probably. We're on. Fish on. Is it Oak Bluffs? OB is like 15 minutes. OB is 15 minutes. Not big. Squid. It's squid in his mouth. Look at that. Full size squid. That's what they're feeding on here. Are we keeping him? Yeah. Throw him in there. They're cool. I got ice in Alright, so I think that's about a wrap on the fishing portion of this video. 
Now we're gonna go back to the house for the cook portion of the video. Alright, so first you're gonna need the fish, obviously. Fish me, bro. Are you kidding me? Obviously the first thing you're gonna need is the fish, so fish me, bro. Dude! Alright guys, we're back here at the kitchen, and uh, we just got back from our fishing extravaganza, and we caught ourselves some nice bluefish, so we're gonna fillet them up, and then we're just gonna throw them in the deep fryer. So uh, first thing you're gonna need is a fish. Fish me, bro. Blue fish. Next thing you're gonna need is a, uh, a nice sharp knife. I like to I like to use a nice and big blade because uh, it's just what you gotta do. And you wanna make sure your hands are clean. So, talent, bro. Perfect. Um, you're gonna need those as well for to hold the skin back. Anyway, so I like to have two knives. One big, one small. The smaller one's just for like the finer stuff. The bigger one's just for the deep cuts. First cut we're gonna do is right here. Gonna get it right down, nice and deep. It's a nice and sharp knife. And then the next cut you're gonna do is right along this backbone. So you're just gonna cut that nice and good. And what we did to make sure these fish are not don't taste like a block of aluminum, we. Uh, bled them, cut their gills, and then we threw them straight on ice. So they've been sitting in the Yeti for about an hour or so, that's it. And then we're filleting them up and we're gonna cook them nice and fresh. So right now I'm just running along the backbone. Make sure you don't want to get any bones in there, obviously. And then you can just cut off this belly meat right here. It's, there's nothing in there. All right, so then what you want to do is actually leave this skin attached to the back right here. Because it just makes it easier. And then you want to take your blade and you just want to run it right along here. And that will get rid of your skin because you don't really want the skin from a bluefish. It's not pleasant. I'm gonna try to get as close to that skin as possible without cutting through it. Boom. Beautiful bluefish fillet. And if you have a little bit of skin on the outside, it's all good. Take your little small knife right here. And you just sort of trim that off. And then what I also like to do is, I like to trim off all of um, the red meat. Some people leave this on, but I don't like the taste of it. I think it tastes like iron and horrible. So you just sort of get the top stuff off and, you know, as long as you get the majority, it's all good. Now, a lot of people hate bluefish because they think it's like an oily meat, but I think it's really good if it's prepared correctly. So we're good on that. That's pretty much good. We'll cut that into chunks and we'll throw her in the fryer. this up into nice usable pieces. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want a massive thick piece of bluefish. 
and then we're uh, chopping out this sort of middle part because there's bones in here and you don't really want to crunch on a bone. Alright, so we got these fillets and we're going to go take them to the fryer and we'll meet you at the fryer. Alright, so the seasoning that we're going to be using on these blues is um, Jose, can you see salt? This is sort of like a Martha's Vineyard thing, but uh, you can just use Old Bay or whatever you have. And uh, so we're just going to put a liberal amount on these things and uh, we're actually going to put these on the grill because I can't seem to find my deep fryer. So I'm just going to throw them on the Barbie. Barbie now. Um, so you want to put your grill on the highest heat that it has possible because fish, you don't want to you don't want to slow cook it. You want to cook her fast because that's the moist, most moist you're going to get. So uh, then you want to put some tin foil down because this fish will stick to it and you won't lose half of it. And then we got our seasoned fish here that we put a liberal amount on. And we're just going to pop that right down on the tin foil. Right, well, if it's a windy day, it's going to do that. All right, and then we're gonna close the barbie. We're gonna give that probably six minutes or so, and then we're gonna flip her over to the other side. How's your cooking going, Carson? It's going great, bro. Good chef. All right, so uh, now we're gonna flip these fish. It's about time, it's been about six minutes, so. Oh yeah, they're looking great. Yeah, you know, probably should have coated this in pan. <laughs> All right, yeah, next time coat it in pan, pan. Look at that flaky goodness. Gosh dang, I should be a chef. Okay. All right, those are good. You know, I'm gonna be honest, it still sort of tastes like iron. Um, but if you put more seasoning on, I'm sure it'll taste fine. It tastes more like chicken than anything. But um, overall, pretty successful day. It was a success for the fish. Everybody says you can't eat bluefish, but you can if you're hungry enough. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.